Hi, I'm Dr. David Egerton. I'm the uh, chair of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences uh, at Campbell University. And this department is actually within our College of Pharmacy and Health Science, and it's part of part of one of the several programs that we have that involve health sciences. So um, one of the questions that we get a lot in, in our um, area of pharmaceutical sciences is what exactly is pharmaceutical sciences? That's a good question because people know what pharmacists do because that's one of the other areas. People know what nurses do. People know what uh, physical therapists do and physician's assistants. And these are all other programs within our college. But if you ask people, a lot of people don't really understand what pharmaceutical science is. And what it really is, in a nutshell, I suppose, is the, the science of making medicines. So everything that a pharmacist dispenses to patients, uh, everything that a doctor prescribes, these are, these are medicines and people have to invent them, develop them, and uh, make them into a formulation and bring them to market. And that's what really what pharmaceutical scientists do. We have that uh, capability uh, here at Campbell to teach somebody how to do all aspects of that, to, to bring it from concept essentially to full formulation um, to bringing it to market. So that's one of the things that we do and teach. It's a really good time to be in pharmaceutical sciences um, right now because in the area, especially here in North Carolina, where we are close to us is um, a lot of industry um, that are looking for people with that type of uh, skill and education. And so why would you come to Campbell to get pharmaceutical science uh, education? Because of who we are, where we are, uh, we have lots of different facilities and lots of um, things that other people don't have really. One of the things we have is our facility we call PERC, which is our Pharmaceutical Education and Research Center. And in this, it's actually somewhat a living, breathing little pharmaceutical company. We have it uh, one side of it where we can do formulation. We put them together in a tablet or a capsule or whatever formulation that we're gonna ultimately give to a patient. We can develop that and help do some studies and do some testing on that. So we come up with the right formulation, the right combination of things to go to the patient to make it more effective. Our other side of, of that uh, facility is our analytical facility. And in that, we do all the testing. Every step of the way, we have to test to make sure everything is right, what it's going to. So we do the testing on that side. So that's a, that's a big advantage of working here at Campbell is we have that facility. And a lot of people don't. Another big thing, advantage of, of working in pharmaceutical sciences at Campbell or studying pharmaceutical sciences at Campbell is that we have internships built into our program. And so all our students go out into the industries and actually get experience working um, doing some part of what they may be doing, some aspect of pharmaceutical science. And that's really a plus because the students really get a taste of um, what it's gonna be like in a real world job. And it also um, usually pans out, probably greater than 90% of the time, to a job offer uh, to that student from the facility. So one of the things that I could tell the parents and the students, everybody is, one of the advantages of studying pharmaceutical sciences is, is that right now especially, your chances of getting a job with your degree are really, really good. Like I said, greater than 90%, it's probably more like greater than 95% of our students are employed either at graduation or within a few months short of graduation. Um, and, and a large percentage of them actually get job offers from their internship sites. The skills that you learn in our program as a pharmaceutical scientist gives you a really good background in chemistry, a little bit of physiology, biochemistry, uh, analytical aspects and things like that that really make you very marketable in a lot of other areas. One area, for example, would be um, working in the forensic world. Um, where you're doing forensic uh, toxicology or drug identification or even forensic DNA work. We have the background and basic skills that you can learn here that's gonna help you uh, in those fields as well. Also, it's not just drugs that we're talking about. Cosmetic industry is a big part of what we do or, or what our um, students go out into and the industry that's around us here in North Carolina. And so that's a big part of it. We learn how to do uh, a lot of the same concepts and skills that are gonna make you successful. Another uh, big plus we think uh, with our program is that we offer a bachelor's in pharmaceutical science and we also have a master's program in pharmaceutical sciences. You can progress from our school on up or you can come from another school and go into our master's program and, and you know 
have a higher degree. But a cool thing about our program is that we have a three plus two program that essentially lets you, if you come, come in with a, in our bachelor's program, you can proceed if you meet the right requirements, uh, you can proceed into the master's program and save a year. So instead of going a four year undergraduate degree plus two years master's degree, you can get both your BS in pharmaceutical sciences and your master's in pharmaceutical sciences in five years. Um, the, the other great thing about us is we're kind of a sister program with our pharmacy school as well as some of the other schools, but we're really close to the pharmacy school. And so we have the ability to do some kind of uh, interprofessional, if you will, do some research with our clinical faculty that's in our pharmacy school, kind of give you a little taste of clinical. So you have the ability to do basic science research in the lab, and you also have the ability to, to work with uh, some clinical faculty faculty solving real problems in real time that, that are going to be at the clinical level. And I really like that. That's one of the things that attracts me, attracts me to this is that translational research, which means it's not just, oh, I found and I discovered this thing and that's really important, but it doesn't really mean anything for years and years until you put a whole bunch of stuff together versus we have a problem in the clinic, we need this, we can go in and we can solve the problem. And I'll give you a good example is we had one of our, our um, faculty, um, clinical faculty in the PharmD program who's an infectious disease person come to us with a specific issue about um, people with trans getting lung transplants and delivering medicine to them via a nebulizer via in the, their airway. And we had to solve a problem and, and prove that uh, given a certain antibiotic by uh, this nebulizer uh, could actually work without getting into the nitty-gritty details of it, but it just gives an example of our collaboration with our clinical people to solve a problem that as soon as we found the answer to, very shortly thereafter, that was implemented and it hopefully had a positive impact on patients' lives.